understanding what's on the landscape and where it is and what the condition is, that is the basic understanding you need to go into conservation science. I am John Sobel and I am a wildlife biologist at the Colorado Natural Heritage Program. You got one that's closed and there's something in it. So this is a deer mouse. It's a very bicolored tail. I mean, he's got that dark surface on the tail and the ventral surface is distinctly white. Of course, the bag weighs something, so I'd have to weigh the bag after this. You want to be careful because it will try and jump out. So that's about <laughs> 35 ounces. Is this in ounces? The grams. 35 grams, including the bag. We have botanists, and we have plant ecologists, and we descend on this property, which is only 350 acres, and we spend two days just recording all of the plants and animals that are on the property. To get them out, there's many different ways you can do it. Everybody has a preferred method. But if you can get them behind the neck, have you ever seen like on nature programs and stuff where a mother will move the babies and they scruff them? Mm -hmm. And it just they just go docile. They just stop fighting, they just kind of go limp. And you can do things like sex it. So that's a male if you want to get in there and look, you can see. I'm gonna let him go. He's getting to get a little bit festy. Yeah, oh yeah, it's looking really nice. Sometimes in, you know, old properties that have been stewarded for a really long time, like this one, you can just find some really amazing, high quality biodiversity just by walking around. Each species has a C value assigned, which is like called a coefficient of conservatism. It sort of ranks how much human disturbance a site can withstand. And then that just helps us basically understand what is sort of at risk. People don't realize that we have so much biodiversity and so many rare species here. Information is power. And when we're empowered with this kind of information, we can make great decisions. We can do the things we need to do to save nature. If we don't know what we have, we can't do a very good job of conserving it. If we don't know where it is, how are we gonna save it?